Hey, what guys? What is up? This is Dogo Do with some Titanfall gameplay. I'm using the smart pistol in this one. Um, yes, a lot of people might say it's a new gun. I don't say it's a new gun. I think it's a really good gun. It's really balanced. So stop complaining about that damn gun. But anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, a few things that are on my mind right now. One is again uh i be i'm trying to post as much videos as i can within the weeks or within the month um since i'm kind of busy with work and i do have only have the weekends off so i'll do my best to post anything i can during the week if not i'm sorry guys for the late del for the for the delay but anyway i'm gonna start rolling up with some stuff before I, since i it's pretty much a nine minute video so as you guys know, uh, Star Wars Battlefront is one of the games a lot of people are excited about. I'm really excited about it because I love the franchise so much. Since well, I'm hoping that Dice does a really good job since their their engine has been really screwing up lately since the the, the multiplayer aspect of it. But I hope during E3 they release the multiplayer uh, gameplay instead of the campaign. Um, gameplay because a lot of people don't I especially me I just don't give a fuck about the, the campaign at all I love the multiplayer I don't like campaign uh, that's what everybody says that's what everybody's always talking about for you know Call of Duty isn't never gonna end up doing that same thing with dice dice kinds of I uh, well dice does release it during E3 but sometimes they don't but I hope Dice. Well, I, I'm not expecting them to show the multiplayer because from what I'm, uh, Star Wars is um, the Battlefront front end game. Um, from what I'm hearing, it's not coming out till next year. But the game. Uh, but we. But you gotta remember this. Dice has been releasing a game now, just like Call of Duty, every year. This year it should have been a um, uh, uh, what's it called, Medal of Honor. But since you remember, they. Uh, they stopped. Make, um, produ making uh, Medal of Honor games and they focus on Battlefield only. And, but since they've kind of got Star Wars Battlefront, they're putting their attention on that game as of right now. But as of right now, that's one game I'm really excited about. And another, a game that I'm not really excited about is the Modern, it's uh, Advanced Warfare. I don't know. I think for me, it's a cheap ripoff of Titanfall. It's without the Titans and everything else. Um, it's just it's Sledgehammer. I'm. I know it's their first baby, their first game that they're making for the Call of Duty franchise. But it's just one of the games I'm not really excited about because it's it's running on the same old engine, um, same mechanics. There's nothing different about it. I think it's one game that a lot like for me, I'm not gonna be interested in at all. Um, another game I'm also interested in is, um, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I love that yet again, it's a cheap ripoff of Assassin's Creed because of the same coding. But, um, I'm, I'm actually more excited about that game because I love Call of, I love, I, I don't know why I say Call of Duty, but I meant, I love Lord of the Rings. I love the, the, the books, the, the movies. And I know a lot of people are disagreeing me with that because the movies were way off from the books. But I love the book and I love the movies. So it's my opinion. You have your own. I'm not going to judge you by that. But I, I I can't wait for those few games. There's a lot more games that uh, E3 is going to be covering from Activision, from Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft uh, from what was it EA, um, from I'm from my hearing, Mirror's Edge 2 will be coming out. Fallout 4 is going to be releasing the trailer. Maybe I'm not promising you that, but that's what I'm hearing. But don't don't think that the game is going to come out within um next this year. It's going to probably come out either between 2015 or 2016. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of hype within just the trailers itself. But I wouldn't. I'm one of those that want that if I don't play the game, I can't judge the game by itself. I can't judge it. Videos, it's like, oh man, I'm I, I, a lot of people get so much hype on the games just because they watch a trailer or a or video. 
it's better to feel the game than to see the game. You know what I'm talking about right here. That's why I that's why I always judge videos before um, I judge them. I mean, actually I don't. I, I wait till I I judge them before. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of screwed up. Um, I'm really tired from here, but um, the important aspect is is that. Um, I love to I, I like to play the games first I want to feel the game that's what most that's my point my point is that I want to feel the game more with my hands than to see someone else play the game and say how good the game is and I'll be throwing money at the company just to find out the game is just a wait it's a piece of shit just like Ghost like Call of Duty goes too much hype but no bueno for me it was just a waste of I didn't buy the game anyway so either way I'm good I'm I'm good with it I didn't like the game at all from I've been playing it before so either way it might I might sound confusing I'm really tired I gotta I sh I only have two days off which everyone will think oh well two days isn't good enough for me trust me it's not good enough for me especially when you're having trouble sleeping but I want to finish this topic off really quick before uh, my video ends. I want to talk about something that I want to talk about, and I want to talk about anime. I know it's way past the whole; it's not even involved with video games. But I'll, don't get me wrong; there's a lot of people who are really into anime. Um, since I'm already talking about um, what's it called um, the the hype and all that, the the hype of of video games. There's one top. There's one anime that had so much hype on it that I thought that was pretty good. I loved it, except for one little thing, which is the the. Uh, I'll just tell you the end. The, the the one I'm talking about. It's called um, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. A lot of people were complaining about saying that oh, this game is too hyped. I mean, this game, this this anime is too high. There's no way it's going to be really good. It's not going to be compared to the actual, um, the actual book. I actually, I actually thought the freaking, the TV show was really nice. If you guys haven't watched it, it's available on Netflix. I know a lot of you guys would say Toonami's, uh, Toonami's already showing it. How do you know everything about it when the, when the series just came out on Toonami? Well, you can understand. It's better to watch it in Japanese version because I, when I first saw it in Japanese, I fell in love with it. I, when Toonami really, when they said, "Oh, we're gonna release it in the English version," hooray! I, I thought it was nice. I was expecting it to be really good, just to find out it was just a piece of shit that in, the English dub really ruined it for me. Um, I've been, uh, I, I've been convincing people to watch it on J the Japanese version, and from what the reaction is. They love the the Japanese version more than the English version. That's from my perspective. I don't know what the hell it poked me, but it kind of hurt me a lot. But but anyway, gameplay is about to end. I just wanted to talk about that. Um, if you guys are huge. Sorry about that. For some reason, it kind of muted. But if you guys want to see more gameplay, uh, please leave a like. Um, if you guys, if there's specific games that you want to uh, see on my channel, I will put a list on, on the description below. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. And if you guys don't like the video, leave please leave a dislike on it. I don't mind. It's just something that a lot of people tend to do. All right, guys. Take care. I hope you guys have a great uh, weekend. And I'll see you guys on the battlefield.